there. Okay, let's grease this one. I put I put that there larger thing in there. Uh, in there. Okay, now I'm gonna put it right down in the top right here, down in that, down in this standpipe right here on that on the main barn greaser. And I'm also and I'm just gonna pump. I'm gonna pump the. <clears throat> I'm going to pump the uh, and 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 as I pump this one, do you see that that pipe rises by itself. See when I pump that grease and it gets full, there, there's there's enough pressure it wants to push this pipe out by itself. Uh, and you do this with some finesse that you do not end up with a air bubble in there. But this right here. Now that's a bigger pipe, so it takes more. It takes more pressures to that. But keep pumping it in there until that got level. Okay, at that at that point, just skew that off right there level, and you would fill up your cap and screw on to here. Okay, I'm not going to fill that cap up just yet. Let's uh, let's fill that other one up, up over there. And the reason that I'm not going to fill that one up just yet is I may have some excess and I don't want to waste it. But you see it push that pipe up out of there? And these was really perfectly clean. And just pump that till that's full. Okay. And skew that off level. And every time you skew off some, then you put it in that cap that you had set in the side. And you see, I have already filled this cap level full with grease. And I'm gonna put it right down on there. And it's it's kind of it's uh, it will work out most of the time that these grease caps really likes to be on uh, grease the cup part two pieces needs to be together because the threads are not always the same okay now I want to observe right in that area right down in yonder I want to see a little grease come out of there when I tighten this up that's where the grease will come out on this side it will come out that way and it will come out on the inside and 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 again the, the best way to do that is to turn the turn the crankshaft as you as you tighten this up okay y'all see that grease in there it came out there it took about four or five turns now I'm assuming that the equal amount see it come out so we we know we got grease. Okay, if you leave pressure, if you turn that and leave pressure on it, then it will keep coming out there because that's the least resistance. To stop the grease from coming out down there, is you can loosen this up just ever such a little bit, and that'll leave the pressure down there, and it won't lose your grease. Now, one thing that I just take a note of this. One of the things that I have noticed on these McCormick Darren M's, and it's part of this this ventilation system with the check valve and all is it will actually suck the grease out of these grease cups if you grease it up like we're doing here and you start the engine up and run it and you come back to see how much grease you got in there uh, it will be sucked empty now now the, the way you grease these when the engines are running and let's say the engine's been running about an hour or so then what you would do is you come over there and you give this a quarter of a turn and you give this one a quarter of a turn and this one a quarter of a turn and and your engine would be greased also this part this part right here this this is the crankshaft greaser as they call it Okay, when that's on there, well, let's fill it up. You would you would stick this greaser thing right in yonder all the way. It goes all the way in yonder. And you just do the same thing here again. Is just 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 grease that grease that grease that uh, 
Let's try right in there. Maybe right there. You just grease that. Just keep pumping. And I'm pumping the grease gun if I can explain this to you. And, and okay, now see at that point, I seen it. I seen it push this out, so I know that it's it's getting full. See it push out. It push itself out once it gets once it starts getting uh, air bubble in there. Then it wants to as the grease displaces the 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 distance in there. It wants to push that pipe out, and that's what you want to do. You want that to be completely full. It seems like it's a lot of grease, and it is. It takes a lot to fill that up. Um, and I'm 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 still pumping. I'm still pumping. Okay, y'all see that grease? Yeah, do y'all see that grease coming out there? You see it? <clears throat> okay. It's kind of hard to pump too. Okay, and uh, same, same, same applies. And that was the reason that we didn't, we didn't fill that last cup up. Is you want to save that grease for this cup right here and skew that off level. This one goes right up here, if you remember. And do the same thing. On this one, observing right here, and you should see some grease coming out of there. Okay, see, I only, I only turned that three times, and, and grease is coming out. So that's how full, that, that's how much grease was in that pipe. That it only took that little bit of amount to have grease to come out. Now, we've got this, we've got this end cap here. We have to fill that up with grease. And this is the amount of grease that you have to work with each time. And, okay, let's fill it up. And skew it off level. Maybe a little bit extra right there. And this goes on here. Now this right here, thing right here, was one of... This, this, was, this was what sold a good many of these McCormick Dairy Nims was this was this feature right here and it was not a bad idea by no means because if you remember a lot of engines of this time period had the greaser on the uh, on the rod itself and in order to grease the rod you had to shut the engine down and then turn the greaser on the rod and then start the engine back up oh it was a great inconvenience but with the international uh, the, the, the way they did it is when the engine was running and this was uh, this uh, the, the left hand thread in here that would not unscrew and all you would do when when everything is warmed up and operating right is if you hold this if you're turning the crankshaft and you hold this it will screw itself in and you and all you would do when the engine was actually running you would just put the palm of your hand against that just a little bit and, and you could feel it screw in but that's the way you grease the crankshaft on a McCormick Darren M is with this this right here well it was a good idea good idea it was one of it was one of their selling points Okay, now at this point we have got this we we've got this engine greased. Now that's that's the, all of the places that you would use grease on this engine. Now, one of the questions you're going to ask is where does that grease go? Well, it does accumulate inside the engine, and you know it it was probably good maintenance periodically. I, there was not a time. Uh, in the book or anything, there was not a time given that you would get in there and clean that grease out. But I have took them apart where they would be quite a good amount of grease in there. 
but even if it accumulates in there it would not cause a problem as long as your oil would would expel from the breather and you and this worked right in the heat of the engine and the oil mixing with it it's uh it, you do have to clean them out occasionally, but it's a long period of time before you have to get in there and clean it out. But this this grease right here goes into the center of the crankshaft and greases the crank, big end of the crankshaft bearing, that babbit bearing. It greases it from the inside out. Okay, that grease, it, when you turn this and it pushes grease in there, then that grease greases both sides of that bearing and the excess slings away and at that point it gets it, it distributed somewhere inside the engine so the the gear on the the small gear on the crankshaft actually gets greased with this grease cup here because when you tighten that up the grease goes inside and spreads out and it actually would get onto those teeth in turn gets onto the teeth or the cam and it greases itself oh it was a good idea and it works really good uh, your engine has been running uh, well uh, you can take them apart and they're uh, surprisingly clean inside but we got our grease let's get on to let's get on to that fuel pump